All right, so you know we got Warren Sapp coming up here. Hall so, of Famer, you got to preface. I mean, he's, oh, he won every award. I'm not even going to read off the list. If there's an award with football, Word. he won it. The baddest cat. Welcome to the stage, all everything in the NFL, fantastic shit talker, Hell Warren yeah. Sapp. The great Hall of Famer. <laughs> Warren, to <laughs> that. Sapp, what up? What it do, baby? What's up, Boston? <laughs> yeah. You know, I, I got to tell you something. I, I go to a lot of cities, but I got to tell you, Boston, Philly, New York, that whole East, Eastern fucking 95 corridor, y'all some real ass fans, I got to tell you. Yeah. That's why, that's why I had to come out with my, my Yankee, because I couldn't let my man, Mr. New York, get all the shit Thank by you. himself. Ah, yes. So I, I, come on at me a little bit. Those, they, those are beautiful. Yep. <laughs> those are beautiful. And they call loud mouths. They're, they're, those What's are better? Those are gorgeous. <laughs> What's better? Loud mouth, right? Sap, so, so thank you for coming. No thanks for having me, brother. Um, we're here in Boston. Yeah. So the Patriots, when you played, what, just like, what is, your, what is your take on when you played the Patriots, the, the, their legacy, what they mean to the NFL, just the whole thing? Like, give it, give it to them. Like, give, give them some nice ice cream to eat on. They're some winning motherfuckers. I mean, <laughs> I mean you, if, if you don't understand, if you don't respect the championships in which they hold, then you don't understand the game in which we play. Why are they so good year after year after year? And why are they the only team that seems like they're able to, with this term, I know it's not as simple as it, but why is it the only team where they seem to be able to plug and play? Well, because it's the Bill and Tom excellent adventure. You know, the two things that don't change is Bill and Tom. Yeah. When you have a head coach that the other head coaches feel like hell, you know, because the only time I've ever seen Bill off his game is like when Harbaugh came in that one playoff game, 33 to 20, and fucking Rice ran crazy and they had a plan. You have to come in this place with a plan to execute and, and go after them because they're going to come after your ass. And they're coming after you with the best shit they got going in their house or on the road or wherever they're going because they prepare. They, 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 play, they, yeah. they, they do it the way it's supposed to be fucking done. I mean, that's, that's the problem when everybody looking at them like they cheat. I'm like, shit, if you ain't cheating, you ain't trying to win. I don't know what the hell. Fuck out of oh, here. You motherfuckers clapping Fuck for the cheating. Here. Hey. The film in the hotel room. If you room. ain't cheating, you ain't trying. And I don't hear nothing else about that shit. If I, can, if I can get your damn plays from the hotel fucking staff, you done threw it in the garbage can, we getting that shit. We whooping your ass and you going home. Yes. But, but this, ah. whole, this whole, yeah. this whole notion you. of plug and play, when they'll put in, you know, like a star player no, on no, the no, going no, out. No, 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 because... What is that? How no, do no, they no. do Let that? Let me help you out. Let me help you out. Because you, you, you're thinking this in a whole, you know, like it's a fucking chemistry experiment. It's not. Do your damn job. That's what they say. That's no, the no, 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 no. It's true. It's just that simple. Because me, Warren Sapp, on the football field, I ain't shit by myself. Because the 11 finna tear my ass up. They finna run left, right, everywhere. Right. But when I have that Tampa 2 and that bitch is intact and you rerouting and making him go where we want him to go and sending him in this way, right. your ass is grass. We <laughs> digging the hole. Right. That's what you do as a football team. You all dig the hole. And once you dig the hole, throw his ass in yeah, and yeah. now cover him up and let's go. Oh. It's situational yeah. football. Right. Whenever you see the Patriots in any city, like, all right, I'll give you a prime example. I'm standing right beside Shannon Sharp at the Super Bowl with the Atlanta Falcons. And I'm watching this shit, and, Shan and, and Julio makes this catch. Right. On the 25-yard line, I look at Shannon, I say, it's over. He said, what do you mean? I said, the only thing they got to do is run it three times, make them call their timeouts, and kick the damn field goal. they up 11. It's over. We're talking about the Atlanta. The Atlanta yeah. game. Right. These assholes come up with some brilliant plan that now we finna go. No, after the first play that they didn't realize that Bill finna blitz the shit out of him because right. he needs the ball back. They hand this damn <laughs> thing to Dante Freeman. He goes, oh shit. I mean, it's about an eight yard, three yard loss in the backfield. They all over him. Shannon looks at me. I'm like, he calling time out. He's like, what? I'm like, he needs the ball back. He can't win unless he gets the ball back from him and they don't score right here. And Shannon's looking at me, and he's looking confused. I'm like, damn, I'm glad Tony Dungy taught me the game because right, right. <laughs> evidently Bill, Bill, uh, Brian, right, Billick, Brian Billick and all that bullshit over there, they, 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 weren't, they weren't teaching football. All, all so I'm looking at this shit, you know, I'm, like, I'm looking at this shit like, are you kidding me right now? This, this is one, two, three football. Right. You, you get in fucking goal line, you run it at them, you make them call a timeouts, you don't lose any more yards, you kick the fucking field goal, you up 11. 
There's no way you lose a game that were, way. Were they essentially, I mean, obviously there's, there's. No, they go to the sideline and come up with, Matt Ryan wants to run his favorite play. What a dumb fuck this is. <laughs> Give a Definitely. fuck what your favorite play is. We here for a championship, you asshole. That's why, and that's why they lost. Was that, so is that? Oh, no, because now you drop back the pass. They light your ass up. There's a sack or incomplete pass. The clock stops. There's yeah. a holding penalty. You move back 10 yards. I'm looking at Shannon. I'm like, do you see this shit? <laughs> Skip Bayless is going to tear your ass up tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> uh, absolutely. And that's what happened. That's exactly what happened. That's when the I, show. And then when I, I, I patted him on the shoulder when they, when they was putting that shit to him, I'm like, Tom Brady down eight. You forget that shit. There's a tie game. We going yeah. to overtime. Yeah. It was like we it going to, it we was going like, to overtime. We're gonna get me a good spot to watch this overtime because <laughs> shit up here. This damn booth that's way up here is too high. I need to get down. So, so I mean, obviously, there's factors. There's players. There's plays. But essentially, would, is that considered they got out coached? And what does that mean? Is that is that a perfect no, example no, 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 of it? No. Not, not so much out coach is you got out situational football because that's one thing Bill always talks about is situational football. Yeah. When it's third and seven, you bagged up on your whatever yard line, this is how we play this situation. When you have right. the ball on the 25 yard line, the 35 is the last, the, the prime last position we want because then that's the 53 yard because it's eight yards from 35 plus 10 that's in the back of the end zone, 53 yard field goal. They were 10 yards in front of that. When that shit ended, they were at midfield. Right. In no position to win the fucking game. And now you got to kick it to Tom and he's down eight. And we implemented a two-point play just for this shit. We over. going to overtime. Yeah. And it was it. We going to overtime. It was over. once you get to overtime it's over. and, and he got the ball. Stop. It's finished. <laughs> over. That's when I was underneath. Super Bowl chance. I was underneath my coffee table. I was, yeah, I was, I I was calling Chick-fil-A because I wanted some shit afterwards because the day was over. <laughs> Oh, it's over. Yeah. Hey, that you, was do terrible, not, man. you do not give Bill and Tom one more shot to cut your damn nuts off. No, They're that's it. falling. Yeah. All right. Off they come. Um <laughs> Jalen Ramsey. Who the hell? He he made he made the rounds. The, uh, the Jacksonville uh uh, uh, defensive, uh, defensive back, uh, cornerback. Oh, no, no, I know you're talking about that. Okay. okay, okay, all right. You got to right. give me a number, a team, or something. Okay, man. I, 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 he's young, the young shit talker. Yeah, yeah, young shit talker. Everybody yeah. was up in arms because they're like, Jalen Ramsey, was, he gave critique on all the quarterbacks. Oh, every single one. This one's this. Oh, yeah, I heard about and that. And the, the best he could say about Aaron Rodgers and Tom Brady, he said they don't suck. That was him the giving them love. So I wanted to, I wanted to throw. <laughs> okay, all right. I wanted to throw different NFL people currently right now and have you rattle off your feelings on all everything. You think, you think this kid didn't really know who the hell they were talking about? Oh, no, so he, he just, knew. Oh, I'm just he, making sure. He's our type know. of shit talker. Okay, all right, like all right. I got to go check him now. He, he didn't do all. I got to go yeah. check him. All right. I love that you don't even know who this motherfucker is. I have no is. fucking idea who He's a Hall of Famer. I, I didn't know, I didn't know that. That motherfucker with defensive player of the year won a championship. We don't do that shit. Yeah. I go every summer and sit and eat with Jim Brown, fucking Richard Dent, Lawrence Taylor, yeah, running yeah. Lott, and them motherfuckers. So, this, so these internet babies with these likes, views, and followers, yeah. all right, do something. So, so, okay, all right, but yes, before I get to the current guys, let me ask you this. All right. My guy, Lawrence Taylor. Ooh. The greatest football Ooh. player ever won MVP while on crack. Uh-huh. Full flesh. I mean, that's documented. He that's was the best football player. How I mean, about going, will that ever be crack? duplicated again? No. 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 I mean, that's that's not a, like a, a like a performance hey man, enhancing hey, hey drug. Man, hey man, eighty five. That was some good cocaine. <laughs> <laughs> Pablo Escobar never had some good cocaine, man. Right. right. I've seen the movies. That was I, a good era. I wasn't but that was, they, they say it was a good era, man. All right, so I'm gonna throw some names at you. <laughs> John Gruden is now back in football. He's out of the booth. Talk about what you expect from him. Talk about playing for him. What? Just give me your John Gruden breakdown. We're about to find out if these kids like something other than likes, views, and followers. Because John Gruden don't give a damn about that. Explain. I mean, yeah. He, he, this man shows up. To, he leaves his house at about 3 o'clock in the morning, gets to the work around 316, 317 at the latest. At the latest. <laughs> Because I've actually driven up to the job one morning because my old curfew was like 2.30 in the morning. So I called her wife. I'm like, hold on, baby. I got to see if this shit real. She's like, what? I'm like, I'm going to be home around about 3, 3.30 at the latest, but I got to go see if this shit real. I pulled up in one buck and parked in his spot and half-ass went to sleep. <laughs> that motherfucker drove up about 3.15, blowing the horn. Bah! I'm like, what the? 
I put it in drive and drove off. He looked like, what are you doing? I said, I just wanted to see if the myth was real and drove off. Groot is about that work. This son bitch loves football. Right, and, and you can he, tell. And he's going to put in the work like Bill puts in the work to have every situation that you can possibly get in this football game. I've already gone over it. So when it happens, I need you to just react and do your job. Right, right. And most people can't get that done. So we finna find out because he's going to cut some people out. Oh, my <laughs> God. How, oh. how much better oh, will he make, <laughs> like, the people, like, how much better will he make the, the Derek Carrs? How much better will he make my guy Cooper Amari, who, like, yes. freak, like, he's my fantasy guy last year. Like, how much, how Have much? you ever met that kid? No. That's the most unassuming day County kid I've ever seen in my 27 years. He's from Miami Northwestern, one of the, one, I'm talking about right in the heart of Liberty City. Like, one of them, them places, when you go on Friday night, you might need security. Yeah. Yeah, like one of those places. Over no, no, no. But this kid is so quiet, doesn't say a word. And then he's got Jordy Nelson. And if they let that uh, Martellus Bryant, oh, my God. They're going to score 20 some plus points, 25, 27, 30. So they're in good shape. Yeah, they're going to score. But you got to be able to stop some people, too. So we're going to figure out what that defense has. Okay, so... so the, the, and Khalil Mack's not there, so... Okay, so I was going to ask you about the business of football has oh. changed. It's changing every single day. Talk to me about, number one, Khalil Mack, and number two, the thing that's been discussed all throughout the preseason. And I don't know the rules and everything. Obviously, we all... Whether you're fans of, of a team or not, you don't want to see anybody hurt. So Khalil Mack and then go into the helmet to helmet, not helmet oh. to helmet. Are the defensive players oh. at a – is this going to be oh. the highest scoring oh. NFL season ever? Uh, yeah, no doubt about it. I've, I've always said they built the Audubon in the middle of the, the, the NFL. I mean, just right down the middle of the field because that was the most precious real estate you when had. When did that get built? What year? Uh, around 08, 09, right when I left the game. They wouldn't let you hit them anymore. I mean, because that dumbass in Philadelphia, Dante Robinson, was running across the damn zone like this here. I'm like, do, do you not know his own asshole? You better sit down. And he, you remember him and that kid yeah. ran into each other, and I mean, that head was the beginning and of the end. Went to flying everywhere. They just too dumb, you know, because they're so used to you know typing on their phone with yeah. Bing and Google, and they're getting an answer, and the shit's Wikipedia is wrong. <laughs> so I don't understand what they're doing. But it's not just Khalil Mack. It's also Aaron Donald. So are they going to play football no, this no, year? No, no, no. I don't think so because these two... All right, I'm just, I'm just giving you what I hear in the streets. And what I hear on the word is real good word. They say you're asking for top five quarterback money. Aaron Donald? Asking for top five quarterback money. Which? No, 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 no. Break Let it down. Let me get finished with this. Top five quarterback money is Aaron Rodgers, Tom Brady, Drew Brees... I mean, like, 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 like stupid money, like, like 25 million, right? Per, yeah. Okay. No, 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 hold on, hold on. I, like, like, 20, like 25 up, right? Yeah. No, no, 25 up, right? Top 25, top four. 30. Jesus Christ. 30 per. Hold on, hold on. That's five times what I made. I made six million in my best year. So you telling me Aaron Donald's five times the player I was? So no, 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 I got a better one for you. One of those top five quarterbacks if I'm not remembering right, went into Los Angeles Coliseum and kicked his ass in a playoff game. <laughs> so how the hell are you asking for top five money if yeah. the top five quarterback beat you? Take the stand-up triple, 18, 22 million, that ain't enough. Is that, is, that top five, <laughs> is that top five defensive tackle money? No, that's stupid top five. Right? That's, <laughs> that's, that's, that's off the chart defensive so do, tackle money. But, but as far as performance, does he deserve it, Aaron? Not top five money. Is he not a not top, top five, five quarterback? No, 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 no. But, it, but, it, but in his be, position, to be one of the highest paid defenders in the game, yes. So, so. But you can't be the highest paid defender by yourself, right? That's why I needed Derrick Brooks. I needed Simeon Rice. I needed Rondé Barb. Right, I needed right. John Lynch. Right. I mean, you. If you don't have room or, or 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 understanding that, I have to fit my quarterback, my running back, my receiver underneath this cap too. Yeah. It just can't be about you. Right. This ain't the damn NBA. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So do you think do yeah. you think that do you think he's going to like so based on Hey, what, I watched Gilbert Arenas make 18 million dollars in Orlando. They call himself the Hibachi Grill and that shit never got hot. Yeah. The motherfuckers ain't never That shit never got hot in Orlando. And 18 million dollars now. Play. 18 million dollars we paid the Hibachi Grill just to drive a damn van around Orlando. Uh, That's that bullshit. Yeah. What would happen to the NFL, <laughs> not the teams, if those two stars don't play? What, what happens? 
The, Co- na- the National Football League went on strike. <laughs> All the stars was gone, and we still watch that shit. You know what I'm saying? We watch fucking football in a fucking garbage can with arena football. They about to start a new football league, the AAFL. Yep. They got touch football running around this bitch with Mike Vick running around, and y'all with the big three. We will watch anything. Just don't let it be paint dry, and we ain't got no sports on that TV. That's all we want. Right. Give us something. Give us yeah. some some athletes and go. Give a damn about yeah. no Khalil Mack and no damn Aaron Rod. It yeah. keeps These going. Patriots got all their people in camp ready to go to work, right? We just missing our quarterback at Tampa. We all right in three weeks. So here we go. The 99th Ooh. season going to kick off, and that bitch going to be great. You oh, Jameis Winston? Uh, yeah. Oh. Yeah, a little trouble oh, okay. with the Uber driver. Oh, he going at the Uber driver. Shut up. <laughs> Leave my quarterback alone. Don't bother my quarterback or my kicker. I don't play that that's, shit. That's get off of me. Get off of me. He called I heard he, that Wiggins dude tell that, you don't get too close. That's my quarterback. You up here, you up here with your camo like the local dope dealer. Yeah, motherfucker. <laughs> All right, so he... Get a 20 he, sack. He, <laughs> Gerald quoted Terrell Owens. Ter, should Terrell Owens play... Can Terrell Owens play in the NFL? Who gives a shit? We've already watched 130 plus touchdowns, 15,000 yards, the fucking push ups in the front yard, the sit ups in the front yard, the fucking helicopter over the top, the, the next press conference by Rosa House. What the fuck else? What the fuck? Go home, Terrell. That's what I said. Go the fuck home. I, I haven't seen shit other than on a football field that was entertaining. I saw the reality show that sucked like hell, too. Get the fuck home. Yeah. Seen enough Pick of your shit. See, man, yeah. I, I'm not the only one that feels this way. I've heard enough of this yeah. shit. Enough of that, Fuck man. Out of here. What I know you, I know you take a lot of pride in being in the Hall of Fame as you should. What, I, and I and I like Terrell. You know, Terrell, Terrell. We all like him. We don't. You don't know no black guys named Terrell. Uh, they all named said. Terrell. That's what I said. The damn show from Tennessee. They all named Terrell. They ain't no damn Terrell. 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 I don't. Right. I don't know no I black man named Terrell. Yeah. If you know black coaches, Terrell, motherfucker. Terrell, Terrell, get your ass over here, boy. It ain't, it ain't Terrell. He want Terrell. He could, ain't he no could. black woman from Tennessee ever said Terrell. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. My in-law from Murfreesboro, yes. Terrell. The borough, baby. He, could, he corrected me, so I like to say. Oh, no, he did that shit to me at the yeah, Superstars that's, that's, competition, and I walked off from his ass. That's you a white guy. Yeah, I walked <laughs> off from his ass. I said, I got an alter ego, too, and it's QB killing. You don't want that motherfucker on the set, because... <laughs> He know. He knows. He yeah. know. Yeah. He, oh, he, he was on your thing and hit you with the tarot? Yeah. <laughs> you should have hit his ass with it. I don't know no black guy named Terrell. What's your grandma name you? Terrell. Terrell. All day. Terrell, get your ass. Yeah. <laughs> like, what, what's the, what's the, Gerald, what's the lead singer of the Commodore's name? Lionel. Right. But no, Lionel. it's not. He say uh, Lionel. Lionel Richie. But in Birmingham, it's Lionel. It's he Lionel. Lionel. He Lionel. <laughs> like Lunel. Right. Parnell and Lionel. Parnell. <laughs> We've been doing this for years, y'all. <laughs> we, we left off the L's and went to the A's. Now yeah. it's Aisha and fucking yeah. Tanika and <laughs> fuck. Um, all right, I'll, th- I'll throw <laughs> quick, quick, hit, quick hit names at you. Uh, Eli Manning. Ooh. At the end of his rope. But do you think there's some rope <laughs> to hang on to? I know you're a Giant fan, but y'all, y'all, about to, y'all about to bet on a Penn State running back. When the last time we saw one of those do shit? <laughs> yeah. They should have got a quarterback. This you fucking fuck you. pass rusher. Yeah. A pass yeah. rusher. That's what you need. This it was, it, his end. name was Chubb. He was sitting right there. I don't know what the hell they doing in New yeah. York. Moving <laughs> on. <laughs> hey, no, no, no. Y'all all saw the press conference I saw when the mic was in front of him and the kids say, do I talk to you or do I talk to the microphone? What the fuck? <laughs> that was day one. And then he went and got See? naked for ESPN. Oh, Lord have mercy. See? You know, So you know they out giving the word on the street if he's really in doubt or not, too. So now he's going to have a little dick jokes going around town. <laughs> um, last person, then I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to let the fans ask you questions, yeah, 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 and yeah, I'm going to yeah. keep it organized. Yeah, yeah. Cam Newton. Give me a break. I'm so oh. sick of that shit. No, 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 because... Why? Evidently, Cam Newton, you know, Google machine only goes back to like 1993. It don't go back to January 26, 1992. And the only reason I know that date is because I won my Super Bowl on the same date. Doug Williams 
was the first black quarterback to enter a Super Bowl, put up 28 points in the second quarter after damn near killing himself, yeah. splitting in half, yep. lighting that ass up, and then telling mom, I'm going to Disney World. And then Cam Newton shows up and says, I'm going to do something no black quarterback ever done in the Super Bowl. Y'all know what that was? Pout like a bitch after getting his ass whooped. <laughs> right. I, I have a problem with that. Right. No I, will, I will defend any quarterback to the end of the earth because there's only two football players on the football field that think that's the kicker and the goddamn quarterback. Because they got a lot of shit coming at them. The kicker wants to know the range, the, the wind, and all this other shit. Quarterback want to know how many over here. I got two safeties, one safety. Right. That's the only one that think. The rest of us is out there playing. Right. Cam Newton evidently didn't realize that he was going – because – I got to tell y'all this. On Friday night, before that January 26th Super Bowl, I laid in that bed on Friday night and I went, Sap, if this shit don't go right, Lord, please give me the power and the strength to be able to stand in front of that damn media and not make a fool of my damn self. Because right. right. this shit could go both ways. Right. <laughs> you have a chance of losing this damn game, and if you've never faced that possibility, I don't think he ever looked at it that way that whole week. I, Oh, I'm just this. He assumed he was going to win. Oh, yeah. boy, when you assume it makes an ass of you. All right. Yeah. <laughs> you I, want, I, want good, I want good, quick hits for Warren Zapp questions. Stand up loud and, loud and, and, and clear. I want him to know what he thinks of the Browns this year. The question is, what do you think of the Browns this year? All right. <laughs> Basically, but you know what? They had the number one pick, and you know, no, no, they're on hard knocks, too, with the fat-ass Bob Wiley with his jump gun. <laughs> That was my first offensive line coach. I'm going to tell you something about the Cleveland Browns offensive line coach that we saw going hut with his gut jumping. My first year in the National Football League, Sam Weiss was my head coach, and Bob Wiley was the offensive line coach, that, the one you have. No, no, no. The one that she knows who he's talking about. The, the one with the gut jumping, everybody knows everybody this. Knows. Oh. Everybody knows this. This is the hottest thing on the internet right now. I even got it. I'm like, give me a break. No, no. Sam Weiss said to Bob Wiley, you know why your players are pussies? Because they're coached by a pussy. And I can't believe he's the old line coach right now. You're right down the pike there. Stay loud it, just loud. I'm gonna get to as many Told as I him can. in front of the whole team. I'm like, fight Damn. him, fight him, <laughs> slap him, do something. Go ahead. Tom Dungy. Wait, what is oh, no, the question? No, 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 I got you. I got you. I got you. I got him. I got him. Get we get, we get asked right. this question all the time. Whose championship is it? Is it Tony Dungy's team or is it Gruden's team? It's very simple. We were taught the fundamentals of the game by Dungy, but we wasn't taken over the top by Dungy because we gave up $8 million in four draft picks for Johnny. So trust me, my offense was on fire when we got in that damn playoffs, and there was no way I was going home without a damn championship. So all right, it's, John, it's, Johnny, it's Johnny's team. but it's Down the middle, right Dungy there, stand it. up. You, just loud, loud and clear. Uh, your relationship with Al Davis, uh, how oh. was he? How awesome was that? Oh. You t I swear to you, I got to tell you one of the best stories I have. I first get to Oakland, I'm standing there, it's me, Charles Woodson, Jerry Rice, and Rich Gannon. So I got my quarterback, my receiver, and, the, and, the, and my cornerback. All of them, you know, Raiders forever and all of this. And Mr. Davis had a distinct <laughs> cologne he wore, and he had that walker. And I swear to God, we were standing there, and we all went, and I, I look back because I'm, I'm behind. So I turn around to look back. And when I turn back, all of them are gone. Whew. I mean, whew. what the fuck? Did you sleep? Mr. Davis, Warren. I said, what's up, Mr. Davis? What's good, baby? I, oh, no. I heard a bunch of voices around this corner. I'm like, yeah, they all hauled ass. I guess I don't know the smell of you yet. <laughs> Mr. Davis like, yeah, they run from me, Warren. They're afraid I'm going to tell them what they fucked up in the game. I mean, Mr. Davis was the best. I mean, you could not hide from this man. If you messed up on a Sunday afternoon, he'd walk up to you in the locker room, you butt naked going to the shower and stop you. <laughs> Y'all know Bobby Hamilton, right? You know DN for the Patriots? He walked up on Bobby one time after Houston and say, hey, Bobby, look like they were running in the C-gap. <laughs> they were running in the C-gap. I'm like, oh, Jesus. He knew football. He knew football. Brooklyn, Al Davis. Right there, loud. The great Al Davis. Yep. The question is, who's the best offensive lineman that he faced? Randall McDaniel and Larry Allen. But Why? In the, but in the other order, is Larry Allen, then Randall McDaniel. What? Because if I had a choice, I'd want to see Randall before I saw Larry. What, what made, what makes 
a great offensive lineman? What is it? Because it's such an obscure thing to even feet, knowledge. Feet, hands, and head, and four friends. Because they're never any good by themselves. <laughs> That's why they always in packs. Whenever you see an old line, they like cattle. They all together. I hate them. Okay. Um, right here, my man, right here. I ain't got one. I only do it. I only do it on Sunday afternoon, and then after Tony Gwynn got his face eaten off, my name Warren. My drug of choice is marijuana. Guy in the middle, right there, tall, standing up. Loud. Hey, I got him. What advice I have for young football players? Have fun. And as you, as fathers and, and mothers, don't don't allow don't. The, Hey, hey, don't allow them to play until they get to high school, until their brains is fully developed, because you don't want this damn weekend warrior hitting your kid upside the head 300 times a year. Come on. Nobody gives a damn if it's third and seven and he don't recognize a double reverse. Nobody gives a damn about that. When I, when I, when I go to the Hall of Fame every summer, me and Jim Brown don't sit around and talk about Pop Warner championships, I promise you. <laughs> Fuck out of here. Odell, oh, right there, right in the middle. What oh, question? God. Loud and clear. Come on, baby. Ooh, Randy Moss. I always say Randy Moss. That son of a bitch. No, 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 I'm serious. Now I gotta tell you this. We, it was 1998, his first year. I didn't turn the ankle or something, and we go into Minnesota. <laughs> and I remember this vividly, because he had three catches, 108 yards, two touchdowns, the first three times he touched this bitch. So they, no, no, they're coming out the field, and I'm looking at Brooks. I say, hey, you might want to slow these motherfuckers down. They're on an 84-point pace. He looked at me and said, what? I say, 21 times 4 is 84, God damn it. <laughs> he was the ultimate weapon because y'all knew this. When he put that yoke up, put that bitch up, and he going to go get it. It's either a touchdown, defensive pass interference, or incomplete pass. Two of those, two of those three are good things for an offense. So, I mean, I, I'm playing with Kerry Collins. I bullshit you not. Kerry Collins come to me in the middle of a game. Warren, what do I do? I said, throw it to the motherfucker. He putting his hand up. What? Nobody else wants the ball, son. What are you doing? Well, I, well, I, I, I was taught not to do that. I'm like, that's fucking Randy Boss. Throw it to him, you asshole. <laughs> All right, I'll do it right here. Oh, wait, wait. Come on. Let me wait. The question is, when he got Ooh. his Hall of Fame jacket. Now that now that's tough because I was very very fortunate to go in the 50th anniversary year. So they brought back like 115, wow. 118 Hall of Famers. So no no, I'm like a kid in a candy store. I get to fuck. I get to run up to Roger Staubach and he's got to give me a hug. I get to go up to Bob Lilly and like, like take a selfie and Bob Lilly don't know what a fucking selfie is. <laughs> I get to bother Jim Craver and fucking, fucking, oh my God, all the greats that, like Montana, I get to walk up on Montana like running lot, I fucking bump him all the time and shit. I mean, I sit with Floyd Little, Jim Brown, Mean Joe Green, and fucking, uh, what's my other man? Mel Blunt. Dang. Six foot four. And that, that's why I eat. Every time I, I go to the Ray Nisky lunch and I sit right there with them dudes and I eat, and I'm like a kid in the candy store, man. The best thing my homeboys did for me, they put my son at the end of the line. So Lawrence Taylor is sitting at the end of all 113, I think, returning Hall of Famers. He has flip-flops on. Y'all saw the picture I shared with Bill Belichick <laughs> with the flip-flops on with Rich Eisen, you know, with the flip-flops. So that's what Lawrence gets that from, is from Bill. So he's standing at the end of the line with his flip-flops on, and I look down and go, you rusty foot bastard. <laughs> so he grabs me, light skin, come here. And he hugging me and He called you light skin? Yeah, because we the two dark <laughs> we the two darkest dudes you can find in the world. Uh. So <laughs> we always have a contest like who's the most light skinned. <laughs> so after I get finished talking with him, my my 15-year-old son is standing right there. Wow, yeah. I got a picture of a mug with it. It's, it's one of those classic moments. So that's my guy. He was my guy was at the end. Wow. All right, I want one more really right here from, yep. the, from the young Come lady on. right here. Got, right here, the bearded one. Bearded one. Loud and loud. Do you feel bad about taking the rocks job? Do you feel bad about taking the rocks job? He, I can, explain you know the you know best you know history. You know what? I, I, love, I love the wrestling and I love y'all wrestling fans, but I want to tell y'all something. The Rock never had the goddamn job. I don't know what, I don't know who the hell that ghost rider he got, but somebody's got a fucked up memory because... <laughs> He wasn't hurt when I got there. I got there in 91. 
I mean, he was supposed to have been some, some badass from the Big 33. I was just a tight end. Did you ever you imagine? Tight end? When I left high school, yeah. I show y'all a picture of me in high school. Y'all were like, no way that's him. I'm 232 pounds. Did you ever imagine this dude would be the biggest movie star in the world? Was there anything, like, special? No, 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 he is. No, no, like, I've always said, the two teammates I've had since college in the 13 years of the National Football League, I would Dwayne Rock Johnson and Trent Dilfer, the two dudes that my sister could date. Okay. They're good guys. Yeah. They're good guys. Trent Dilfer, man. Trent Dilfer, good dude, man. Shitty quarterback, but a real good teammate. <laughs> I know I'm serious. <laughs> Listen, the U.S. Open come around, he had that damn pool and shit. <laughs> the, the British Open, the pool. I mean, I'll tell you, great. Great gambling games with him and everything, but... No, Ty Devin doesn't have a championship. Yeah. Trent got champions, his Super Bowl. Champions like champions. Final, my final question. Based uh, on everything we know, who's playing, who's healthy, today in August, come February, based on everything we know today, who's winning the Super Bowl? If I knew that, I'd be fucking making a bet, <laughs> earning 20%. What the hell's wrong with this man? <laughs> so if you're asking me to put money on it, I'm going to go by your rule. You never bet against the Patriots. Pa Patriot, Patriots, Steelers, championship game. Let's see, NFC. It's so shitty over there right now. God damn. Hey, I, lo I love my NFC. Hey, I love my NFC. I did nine years in that bitch. But boy, right now, it's, it's like a crap shoot. Jesus. All right, you, you, you know you know. Hey, man, when well, you know you know, it is what it is. All right, ladies and gentlemen, give it up for Warren Sapp. Warren Sapp, Hall of Thank you, thank you, thank you. The good brother.